This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Well, Soldier Boy loses his mind when Kanye West called him trash, okay? I mean, it looked like he, uh, he looks like he was on something when he was reacting to it, too. His eyes were about to pop out of his head. Now, this is what, you know, but this is how Soldier Boy is used to getting attention. He knows every time he loses it on The Breakfast Club or somewhere else, he gets that attention, so he keeps trying to recreate that moment. And, I don't know, keeps missing. Um, he needs to work on another record, because though even though those records went viral, they weren't hit records, you know, like they didn't sell a ton and they didn't chart that well. So he should focus on making another record. Uh, Jay-Z. Now, Jay-Z reacts to uh, Kanye West saying that Just Blaze is a copycat. He said, hey, there was an assignment on that album. It was Soul Sample. So how could he be a copycat? And I was very disappointed in him saying that. Uh, but everyone's entitled to their opinion. Now, he was on Talkspace on Twitter because, you know, him and Jack Dorsey are besties now. Uh, he's on the board of Square. And Jack Dorsey obviously owns Twitter. So, uh, you know, he did everything there. Uh, what's this? Yeah, Nori Nor in this room yeah. somewhere. And uh, yeah. obviously yeah. It, was, it was a lot to talk about. Um, I mean, I don't want to ask anything specific because there was a lot to take in it. But I just want to ask you, did you watch it? Yeah, um, no, he sent me a piece, and, I, and I, I've seen a couple pieces. I, I think, you know, again, everyone is entitled to their opinion, and everyone can see these things through their own lens. And it may not, you know, some of it could be true, some of it may not be true, but that's the lens that you see it through, so you just speak into your truth. And I think the one thing I would say out of the, you know, all the pieces I've seen is, um, you know, make it just, you know, just place thing was a bit unfair. Because um, if you're making an album, if you're creating an album, um, and the, the assignment is soul samples, everyone's coming with soul. It's, it's not, it's not, um, you know, I see Norby down there, Norby coming, you know, I think everyone created for the project, the, the thing was the baby was the blueprint, and I think everyone should be prized for what we created, you know, it's in like the... I don't know what you call that, the Library of Congress or something. It's like, it's something that we all should be proud of and everyone should be prized for, you know, their contribution. Um, I mean, some of, some, of, some of those songs on there, you don't know, with Song Cry, like, you know, some of the pillars of that album, you know. Um, if you, and, you know, everyone, everyone had a contribution, I, I would say, and I don't think anyone was copied off anyone. I think they did what he brought, what he brought to the table. And, you know, we all had the assignment and created this one body of work. You know, other than that, you know, you know again, it's, it's everyone, anyone's opinion of what they believe is, you know, their truths. Everyone's going to have a different truth. So, yeah, that's interesting that uh, he had that perspective. But, uh I don't know. You know, Kanye West was went in there for a purpose, and obviously, it worked. I think he disliked twenty people. <laughs> uh, then we got uh, let's see, Big Sean lost his mind and he reacted. You know, I was just with him after the interview and he said nothing. Well, Big Sean, you are disloyal. That's the bottom line. You went against him. This is the man that put you on. This is the man that made you millions of dollars. And you're disloyal. That's it. Uh, let's see. What else? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kanye West unfollows uh, Kim Kardashian. He's very, very upset about the Pete Davidson thing. I mean, that is weird. I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson together. It's a little weird. But I think Kanye already did so much to kind of lose her. And he's like, screaming. You, people always want somebody when it's too late, when they can't get him back, you know? And I think he reached that point. He was very selfishly handling his own stuff, doing his own stuff, and not focused on his wife. And he lost her. And now he's trying to get her back because he can't have her. Um, then we got... That's about it. Just Blaze. We saw him react. He reacted very, you know... 
you know, soft response. Uh, that's it. Anyways, guys, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kanye also confirmed the, the beef with Kendrick Lamar and Drake is real. You know, Drake's the type of person to move five houses down from you, text all the women in your family and the women you've dealt with. And, you know, he says Drake moves like a creep. It, it just confirms more that, like, Kanye is super obsessed with Drake. We've heard Drake talk about Kanye. Kanye talks about Drake. Drake has a better case than Kanye does. Kanye was trying to, like... <sighs> I'm not even going to go there because all the Kanye stands will come into my comments. But uh, he saw that Drake was about to make a move and he tried to latch on when he didn't need to because he's Kanye West. But, you know, people get scared. Uh, I mean, we're talking about 2009. You know, people get scared of uh, their fame and and their polarizing effect fleeting. It's always fleeting. And you always got to recapture it. Now, Kanye, over the years after that, was able to build uh, more of a cult-like following. And, uh, you know, he has his, he's more successful than most people in hip-hop. You know, he pivoted and uh, diversified. So, anyways, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Peace.